Hello everybody, welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro. It is finally time to move on from Columbus and try out a new team that I would say is most likely Scott's final team. I think we're kind of running out of time with this series. We had yet another completely disappointing playoff run with this team. The season went great. We won the President's Trophy, I think, right? But then the playoffs came around. And we sucked. This video is brought to you by Hulls. They're not sponsoring me or anything, but I just don't think I'd be able to get through it without them. So, yeah. That's, uh, just a random shout out there, I guess. On that note, let's start simulating and just see how long it takes before we can choose a new contract. James, zip it! Is this about a renewal or what's going on here? Your lawyer's contract is up. Yeah, let's get him back. Absolutely. Wow! Not only did we win the President's Trophy, I mean, I shouldn't say we, because we're not going to be here anymore, but... They would have had the second pick if it wasn't for the draft lottery. Come on, show me the teams! Is this it? Here we go. Alright, so they sucked, they were okay. Oh dear. Oh no. Is Bedard still on Chicago? They're the team offering me the most. Other than Columbus, that is, but they don't count. It really is a toss-up between these two. I- I think he is, because I remember last video I looked at the stats for the playoffs and Bedard had, like, 18 points in 11 playoff games or something crazy. You know what? Screw it. We're going to Chicago with the hopes that Bedard is still there. Two original six teams, really tough to choose between them, but let's go to the Windy City. I really wish they only gave me one of those options. I do not like that I had to choose between them. Oh yeah, look at that set of mini wheats. Just white with a red stripe on them. No. All right, there we go. That's fine. Kind of like it. Bedsy better still be here or so help me. View lines. Yes. All right, the rest of the team kind of cheeks, but we do have Connor Bedard at 94 overall. We've also got Berkeley, second line center, 88 overall. The Team here is just not good. Oh no, what have we done? Rosmus Dahlin, okay, never mind, I take it back. And then we have Scott Sterling backed up by none other than Aiden Hill. So naturally, we're gonna sim past the preseason because no one cares about it. I mean, the preseason's going great. Don't you dare lose. That's okay, an overtime loss, so we were 5-1-1. One, one. Very solid. What do you want, Boyer? Oh, this is gonna be the classic. Are you gonna be here for five years or whatever it is? I'm not going to be, no, but uh, I'll go ahead and tell you that I will be. Our season opener and also our home opener against the Smashville Predators. Why did my equipment reset again? It's just inappropriate that I have to come back here every time, save, just to have the equipment updated. Let's get after it, Chicago. Yes, please, start the simulation. We are taking on the Preds, and hopefully we get off to a strong start here and don't get scored on on the first shot. Yes! Instead, we do it, and it's on Igor Shosturkin. Okay, they did score early. It was a power play goal, though, to be fair. And they scored Johnny Goudreau. Really? Are you kidding right now? All right. What are we doing here? Really? I am fed up. I've had it. Okay. So they just score before the second period even begins. Pretty much. That's what it felt like. Anyway, let's just go ahead and sim out this game because eight goals. I love this game sometimes. You know that? A cheeky little 712 GAA and an 829 save percentage. We are on fire. Maybe it was just the pressure got to us. You know, season home opener and now we are on the road against Pittsburgh. Let's see if we can have at least a slightly better performance here. That's a good start, but this is also how we started last game. So my hopes will not. And of course it was Leo Carlson. Players are still on the move. Clearly. And they got a buzzer beater from line A. 15 shots, two goals. We can't save a beach ball. I'm fully expecting to get that speech. All right, fairly uneventful second so far. Don't you dare get another buzzer beater. So we're down by one going into the third. Hopefully we can find a way to turn this into a W. So they have Kyle Connor, Patrick line A, UC Soros, you know, just all your classic penguins. Oh, Betsy, go on. He didn't really go on, but I still appreciate the deke. Leo Carlson, forgot they have him. Give me my first shot. There it is. Thank you, Kyle Connor. Glad to see we are only a few minutes into our first game here and my voice is already giving up on me. That's a great sign. I also plan to record another one after this, so wish me luck. Gonna need it. Nice try, Bedsy. Easy save on line A. He charges me and nobody does anything. That's not a good start, boys. Goes for the hit. Didn't really get all of it. Okay, thank you. At least Darlene kind of stepped up for that one. Appreciate that. 
Nice try. Go, Rasmus. Go on. Dishes it off to Berkeley, and he can't get it through. All right. So far, I'm liking this third period. Philip Ronick in the middle. Saved. Where is it? I do not like this. I do not like this one bit. I knew I didn't like it. All right. I called that from a mile away. Just another classic penguin here, Philip Forsberg. What are you doing, Bedard? Wait, that's not Bedard. Who's our captain? Is it Darlene? Rasmus, you gotta have that guy. Is this gonna end up being one of the seasons that we just fully simulate because we suck and then hopefully the GM does something? It could be. Could very well be. I don't care. I'll do it. I'm crazy. You've seen me do it before. At this point in the series, if we're not making the playoffs, then it's just not good enough. There's no point in playing out the rest of the games just to miss out, all right? We might as well just sim past the whole thing and hope that we get a better team. Come on, let's get one here, tie it up. Oh yeah, we are on the power play. I totally forgot about that. Also, why is Bedard number 16? That's strange. Nice, go. Oh, he's fast. He is fast. Great moves. But Daigle was all over it. Followed him from the get. All right. We're definitely... Oh, wait. We're down by two? What? Oh, yeah. They got that goal in front of them. Okay, well. That makes this a little more rough. Unbelievable. This is Columbus 2.0. We can't score. Get rid of it, Rasmus. Thank you. All right. Down by one. This game is definitely within reach. All right? We'll say that. Glove shave and throw it out to whoever wants to go get it. It was Coronado. Good pass to Darlene. Do we have like three defensemen right now? What's going on? All right. Behind the net. Yep. Yeah, set it up. Set it up. I like it. Don't let him out muscle you. Don't let him do that. You probably could have let go a weaker one-timer. You know, just my suggestion. Oh, they are calling me to the bench. Okay, good thing I came back to this camera. Go, 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 go. Get off before the goal's your fault. Get off before the goal's your fault. All right, no longer on me. Oh, they actually blocked it, though. boy, Kraczynski. Cross ice. And Benzie gets by one. He's in. If we get a whistle here, all right, we just need to set up and maybe tie up it'd be the coolest thing in the world if i didn't have to have the bench view if i could just see the overhead view the standard well we're owing to one more save before the game ends thank you for throwing that on net philip appreciate it but we did still lose don't tempt me ea sports i will simulate the whole season detroit 2-0-1 yet to lose in regulation we aren't in for this game and you know what i can't say i blame the coach and we take a dub so that's awesome we're not in again no surprises here against the senators and we win i guess that scott is just the problem the edmonton oilers 2-1-1 can we please just string together a decent game here? Power play early on for the Oils, and they cannot capitalize, but they do get a second chance, and this time, they don't fail. Unbelievable. Is it just Scott? Is Scott the problem somehow? I've never had a be a pro where we get deleted this bad in the simulation. I'm pretty confident anyway. Did I put stuff in the wrong stats? Do the abilities that I have on suck? I have no idea, but either way, it's one nothing for Edmonton heading into the third. We need to get our first win here, Scott. This is not a good impression that we're making. Gavin. What a shot, first of all. Um, second of all, probably should have had that in the glove there. I don't know. 97 overall. Shot from the slot. Positioning. Normally, I'm my biggest critic when it comes to positioning. I feel like I was in a decent spot there. If that plinkoed its way in the net... I was going to do it. This year would be just something that didn't exist. And that would have been disgusting if Connor found a way to put that in the back of the net. At least Edmonton still has Holloway. I mean, I'm trying to think if Pittsburgh had one player. One. That is normally a pen. Drawing a blank. Here we go, Rasmus. Nice pass. Oh, okay. Defense stepped up. 
and shut it down quick. Our guy stepped up there too. Almost kept the attack going, but unfortunately Edmonton is still coming this way. And they just ran into a freight train. Get deleted. Whoa. That was a bullet. Eight minutes to go. The Oilers still up 1-0 in this game. But not for long. Not for long! What a backhanded baseball play that was from the Oilers defender. I don't know who it was. I'd give credit if... Yes! Let's go! That is huge. Give and go play. Nichushkin on the back door taps it in and it is all tied up at one. Really did think they were going to come and just immediately score again. Can't lie to you. Susie, down low. Glove save, and out it goes to Korchinski. Great breakout pass. I like it. And it was to number 72. So that's even better. Nachushkin spins off his guy. Someone help him. Okay, there you go. Kairu went in. I think we have some momentum. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't know why, but I just feel like the goalie's reaction to that was so casual, and it threw me off guard. Like, he just slow-mo pretty much caught it and just went down. I, maybe I'm making that up. The puck meets Irene. Connor Bedard in the slot. Game's unrealistic. You're telling me he misses those chances? No way, Jose. I'm going to do it. Screw it. I don't care. We're this deep in the series that at this point... Oh! Oh, no! I shouldn't have done it. Should not have done it. Get out of my way, 12. I feel like it has been a while since we've scrapped, though. So, you know... What? All right, well, 0-3. To be fair, letting in two goals isn't bad, all right? If our offense only gets one, we're not going to win with one goal. But still, that should not have found its way in the back of the net. That is crazy. And now Forsberg is going to feel my wrath. All right, he's going to throw a punch here, and I'm going to dodge it. I'm just going to eat it, actually. So take that back. There you go. And throw another one. I want to actually dodge it. And then... Oh! Okay. Never mind. Let's just close this thing out. Getting too close for comfort. Yet another loss. Horrible start. They did have 32 shots. So I'm not saying I had my guy. But I'm not saying that I didn't have my guy. Where are you? You got to be around here somewhere. Oh, we don't play Columbus until near the trade deadline. So that is pretty far. The Ducks are doing well. Must be nice. I'm going to sim up to this game against Montreal because this is the other team we could have gone to. So let's see if we can at least take them down. All right. On a bit of a melter here. Four straight games in a row. And we... How do we have this many games? Differential from Montreal. All right, come on. Let's take them on. Montreal, Chicago. First time meeting this season. Both teams wanted Scott, and I don't know why exactly. But this could be, I believe, the fifth straight win for Chicago if we do take them down. So that's pretty massive. Successful first period. We have a 1-0 lead heading into two. Shots are pretty even, so this is a close game. Anybody's. At this point. And we get another one. Rasmus Dahlin scores on Jack Greaves. And gives us the insurance marker. But Farrell takes that away. Cut in half. Back to a one goal game. And that will be the story. Heading into three. If we somehow find a way to lose this game. I might snap. There's a chance. I'm not guaranteeing it or anything. You know, I'm not giving you the Charles Barkley guarantee. I'm just saying that the possibility of that occurring drastically goes up but hopefully we just win and we don't have to worry about it walk out get your own rebound oh man you got to shoot it quicker than that come on three nine nice good passing but the goaltender said not today and we give them a breakaway first flying poke check uh, uh no not gonna do it nice backhand connor 
Got the ability or X-Factor, whatever it is. Little snap sound. Win the draw back to 6-1 and let it sing. Yep. Yep. Oh, he did it too, but he hit our own player. I think it was Bedsy as well. The guy that just won the draw to him. That is disrespectful. Reichel gains the line. I don't know where it is. Thank you, 6-1, for being there. I appreciate you. Farrell, the only one to score on me so far this game. And he's trying to get another one. Barely saved by the blocker of Scott. And Chicago right back the other way. Coronado gains the Montreal zone. Somehow just waltzes past the defender like he's not even there. He just turned that guy into a ghost. And we're going to the power play. That is amazing. Up by one. Man advantage time. Hopefully. For some reason I thought they took another one. I thought Benzie just got tripped. But nope, it's just one. Slavkovsky can't do that. Almost found a way. Almost. Will they get the puck out? Oh wait, do they have David? No way. Columbus just got gutted. Because they lost Johnny. They lost David. I mean, I guess they still had Zegras signed for a little bit. And I believe Slavin was also signed for a couple years, a few years. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Five on three, and we didn't score. We deserve to lose this game. We do. That's just how it works. If you don't score with a two-man advantage, you shouldn't win. It's simple math, SpongeBob. It's set to M for mini. What you have to do is set it to W for Wumbo. The Montreal Goon Squad out here. Another penalty. Ryan Hartman go into the sin bin now for two minutes. I think interference. Yup. We take these all day. It's not like we're scoring on any of these power plays, but... If you give us enough tries, maybe eventually. No. You know what? I take it back. I think we'll just never score on a power play. Unless... You? Why? Why do the toe drag thing? Just fire it on net! That's all you gotta do. You're not Betsy. You don't have to do a little toe drag release. Just shoot it! It really is that simple. I'm not kidding. Jet is on one right now. I mean... We've had so many power plays. It is just gonna happen. They're gonna come score. And we're gonna go to overtime or something like that. Yep, there it is. There it is. I took the shooter, expected the defender to have the pass. He didn't. Finally! Are you kidding me? We couldn't score on any of our power plays. And as soon as they tie it up, we finally decide, okay, maybe we should probably get one here. As if, Gold Caulfield, who do you think you are? So they still have Cole, and they still have Slavkovsky. Respect. And we took a penalty. No! Do you want me to lose? Is that what you want? Because you're doing a great job of ensuring that. Caulfield is going to walk out. Yes! Big save. Those aren't easy. Trust me. Slavkovsky has it at the point. Lost it. Just send it down. Just send it down. No funny business. All right? Just stick to the basics right now so we can get this win. Nate, you are a machine. So let me get this straight. We can't score when we have a five on three. But we can score... When we're on the penalty kill. That's crazy. Nope. Probably could have had that on the short side there. My positioning was not it. They're definitely putting up a fight here. Oh, they have an empty net. All right, beautiful. 40 seconds left. How do you miss that shot? Also, you could have skated forward another eight feet. No one was even near you. I'm sending it. Absolutely not getting another whistle. Finally, a win. And it feels good. Third star of the game. Maybe we're finally starting to settle in here. How the heck did we manage to 
come all the way back to a 9-12 save percentage. Hello? I'm going to sim up to this Buffalo game because that will be 27. And that's about a third of the season. That is not a good loss to Vancouver. We were on a good streak there. But obviously it had to come to an end eventually. Montreal beats us 8-4. Oh, I'm invited, am I? That's cool. Uh, this is the year of the brand. I'm giving star for everything. I don't care anymore. End conversation. one nothing win over the Islanders. All right, Ron, another tear. Let's go! Holy crap! Win another one! Win another one! Yep, renew it. Plus one X Factor point. We definitely don't have 10 yet, right? I think we needed 10 to get that slot. Ah, we lost to the Senators. Okay, so 16, 10, and 1. That's not bad. Oh, we're only at 5. Yeah, okay. So no, not close. So currently we are 4th in the division, but here's the caveat. We are currently only at 27 games played. Minnesota's at 33, and they only have 1 point on us. And this team, St. Louis... Three more games than us, four more points, very doable. Nashville's just insane, so we won't think about them right now. Of course, the Montreal Canadiens are ninth in the league, but we gotta be right there too, no? Am I missing us somewhere? Okay, we're down here at 15, but again, 27 games played. We have like the least in the entire league. Berkeley's on one. 27 games played, 10 goals, 25 points, 11 goals for Matt. Nichushkin has 10, and Bedsy had a bit of an injury problem, clearly. Hopefully... That is not following me from Columbus. I didn't bring over the injury bug. But yeah, Scott has a 928. So all of a sudden, things have taken a turn. How the turntables. Igor Shosturkin currently leading the league with 19 wins. Oh yeah, didn't we play Smashville? They were our season opener. And they deleted us. Yeah, it was horrible. And we also played against this Daigle lad. 17-5-1, two shutouts and a 9-10. Kill Makar is just on another planet, you know? He's playing in a different league. 45 points in 30 games played. How does one do it? And it's Kirill the Thrill currently leading with 39 points. Dreisaitl has 38 and he has five less games played. So he's probably number one. Roger McQueen, what a stud. Just a great name. Kachow, actually. We had a really shaky start, but it is starting to look like we could have a good year here with the Chicago team. So hopefully we continue on this trend and make playoffs. And hopefully make it further than we could with Columbus. That would be nice. Well, thank you for watching. Appreciate you. If you could leave a like, that would be awesome. And I will see you soon.